Welcome everybody. I'm back y'all with another read. We're gonna jump right into it guys. Um if you are new to the channel, welcome. Happy to have you here. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You aren't gonna want to miss out on any future videos, okay? Um, if you're a a returner, welcome back, guys. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, yeah, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how this person is feeling about the collective. Let's see how this person is feeling about you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, so somebody fucked up, and they know they fucked up. But, yeah, it's easier to blame it on somebody else. Okay, so they're really the blame, and they knew it. They knew they were the blame. It's time for me to heal now. Okay. This person is saying, look, I hope you can forgive me one day. But right now, I need to go heal. I need to go focus on myself. I need to go do something for me. I don't react when people mention you. Okay, so this person is definitely trying to block your energy out. Like when people bring your name up, bring up situations with you, they try to act like they don't miss you or don't have any attachments with you at all. They know they messed up. They know. They don't need, it, it's no doubt about it. They know that they messed up somewhere down the line and they feel like, the best thing to do is to kind of block you out. Pretend that it didn't exist. Out of sight, out of mind is what I'm getting. I remember every detail of that day. So they ain't forget. One thing about it, two things for sure. They ain't forget. So many things remind me of you. I'm getting that this person is really, truly wishing that they had treated you a whole lot better than they treated you. Okay, because I feel like a lot of y'all... Or the rose that grew from the concrete, okay? Like, y'all have evolved, and this person is still stuck. You speak to me through music. I saw this when I shuffled earlier. So, songs and things have been reminding this person of you. Oh, wow, this just fell out. It says, I love you unconditionally. So, this person still loves you. This person still loves you, but I feel like they got some regrets. They regret lying to you, and they're hoping that you can forgive them one day. But right now, I see this person taking some time out. They're in, you're in separation with this person because this person needs to heal. You need to heal. Somebody needs to heal from this situation. Somebody's either y'all are giving each other time to heal, or this person needs some time to heal. All right, let's see what else. let's see what this person got going on. How does this masculine feel about the divine feminine? How does this masculine feel about divine feminine? I feel like this person got a lot of stuff going on around them because I got the seven of cups, three of cups, the devil. I feel like this person got a lot of stuff going on around them, but they still haven't, they still feel nostalgic. Okay, we got the king of cups and the six of cups. It's like they remember the last time y'all were together, but they feel like it's nothing. They're not sure if you changed. Um, or what's really going on with you? I see somebody made somebody an offer. Um, but I'm getting at this person. They could have gave somebody else this offer. And I feel like they are regretting it with the moon and the five of cups. So I feel like maybe you declined the offer or you said that, you know, you didn't want the offer. And this person gave this offer to somebody else. Okay, yeah. We got the six of swords and the page of pentacles and the world. Yes. 
King of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Oh, yes. Two of Wands. This person, they are moving on, okay? They are in communication with other people, okay? They're forcing themselves, though. So they're having to force themselves to let you go, okay? They force themselves to let you go. It was forced. Um, I feel like you were kind of surprised by this energy. You didn't you didn't feel like this person would actually um, like take things as far as they did. But I feel like this per look, the lovers as the outcome. I told you this person is this person forced themselves to kind of like move on because they felt burdened and I see them just feeling like they got a lot going on. Ten of Wands is having a lot of baggage. This could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or Gemini, or Scorpio. That's what I'm getting so far. Yeah, this person, I feel like y'all was, this thing was kind of in the air for a long time. And this person just finally just said, you know what? Fuck it. That's what I'm getting. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Let's just end it. It was uh, something that came out of the blue because you were in the tower energy. Like, you were surprised. And I feel like this was in, yeah, this was in the air. There was an ending here. There's a lot of transformation that needs to be done. A lot of healing for sure. Now, the death card, that's definitely, this card symbolizes transformation. So, there is like a big lesson to be learned out of this connection out of this situation um and i also feel like uh someone is transforming here someone's undergoing some type of awakening as well yeah i see somebody stop putting in effort i see somebody just like cold turkey just just stop putting in effort This person was wanting to see what you was going to say about them moving on. This person was hoping that you would kind of like slow down. This person kind of wanted you to slow down for some reason. Tell me why the sun is here. This could be a Leo. Queen of Cups could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person wanted to see what you was going to do. Look at this. Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. Okay? But this person wanted to see what you was going to do if they tell, told you that, you know what? It's over. It's done. I'm not coming back no more. We're not doing this no more. And then they had to actually force themselves to stick to what they said. Stick to their guns. This person is thinking that it's over for good this time um, because I feel like y'all aren't in communication and y'all haven't been for a long time. This person feels like, look, let's give you a break. Let's give each other a break. I see a lot of sex going on. So this person could have just kind of like wanted to get a break. Y'all may have been, you know, just in that loop of just, you know, that same old, same old type of energy, stagnant energy. This person had a point to prove, okay? For sure, for sure. This person wanted to start some type of conflict with you by giving you this news. But I don't know. I don't think you fell for, took the bait. And this person is manipulative. They over here, they over here in the magician energy. This person is trying to make you talk. This person is trying to make you reach out to them. 
They're trying to make you tell who you're dealing with. If you're dealing with another masculine, I'm hearing somebody could be a married man. I'm just putting that out there. Or someone's messing with somebody's dad or something like that. But... This person wants to see you. They want to see you. They want to communicate with you. But they're scared to reach out to you because they're thinking about how they walked away from this connection. How they abandoned this connection. And they're thinking like karma. They're thinking about karma. They feel like if they were to come back around that there would be a lot of back and forth. And I'm hearing I don't want to put you through that. I don't want you to know exactly what I got going on. So I'm not even going, I don't even want to be seen right now. So this person really kind of like, they want to see you, but at the same time, they know they got a lot going on. They know it's things that you're not even going to even want to hear, not want to be a part of. They know that. Yeah, they have, they were forced to kind of do this, kind of like pushed to do this oh because y'all both was being cold towards each other king of swords and the queen of swords y'all both was being cold towards each other so it was kind of like the battle of the coldest who could who could do the most coldest thing to to the other person okay i'm getting a lot of impulsive and childish kind of like behavior okay i'm getting like mind games you did i'm telling you you did not you didn't feel, you didn't feel, so you, you kind of like felt like something was going to happen, felt like something wasn't right. You kind of felt it, okay? But you didn't think that it was going to go that far. You didn't think it was going to take that big of a risk, okay? But I'm hearing y'all had some people in the cut too that you could talk to and lean on and depend on. This person wanted to to hurt you so bad that they felt like leaving you was going to gonna put the icing on the cake. They wanted to keep confusion going for a pinnacles and a five of wands, but they're trying to give you some time to kind of like see what you're going to do, see how you're going to respond. They love you still. The lovers and the three of wands, they still love you. That, ain't, that hasn't changed. But they know that they they love you, but they talk shit about you, okay? And I'm just going to say it plain as day. They love you, but they talk shit about you all the time, okay? This could be a Cancer, a Gemini, a Virgo. They have to hide, who, they have to hide how they truly feel. keeping busy but they made a mistake and they know they did they got the five of cups the five of wands and the night of and the four of cups see you didn't respond how they thought you was gonna respond four of cups and the five of wands and the five of cups they thought that you was gonna respond differently like in this night of swords energy but i feel like this is what you had your mind you had a goal in my already ace of pentacles and ten of pentacles and i feel like that's where your focus was like yeah it hurt but at the same time you had other stuff and other distractions i'm seeing that as well all right y'all that's what i got if you are interested guys in booking a person i meant to tell this earlier if you're interested in booking a personal i'm only doing a certain amount of personals per day because I get a in I get a, a heavy amount of people requested for personal readings. I am currently available for personal readings, but I will open the availability and close it at any given time. Now the thing about that is I won't even accept once I shut down, I pick my number of of how many I want to do for that day. I'll shut it down for a few days and then I'll come back and let you guys know when it's back open. Okay, so currently right now, I do have availability. I do have slots open. So you can contact me via email. It's um, going to be in the comment section below. 
So be sure to comment, share with your family and friends, as well as like, share, and subscribe, okay? Until next time, ciao.